from being the Olympic coxswain to um, staying involved? Yeah, so I graduated, or graduated, yeah, right. I uh, retired after the 2012 Olympics after winning and defending our second gold medal. And now I decided, how am I going to stay involved? I live in a mountain town. I don't have um, a community of rowers, but created the ninth seat to help coxswain and rowers uh, just to get a little bit better, a um, little fresher point of view. And there's never enough resources for coxswains. So I take on coxswain students. I do summer camps out of the University of Washington. And I also present at youth rowing conventions. And basically, I want to stay in rowing and see if uh, I can dodge a couple practices here and there. Do you feel like you're filling a need that you didn't have as an act as a coxswain? Yes. I mean, coxswain education is usually trial by fire and if there's not a head coach who has a big vision that it really does take nine people to move an eight. The coxswains kind of seem that they feel left out, they don't know what to do, they feel like it's all their fault. So I like to be a reference. I love giving coxswains a bigger picture about how they can tell people to pull harder without actually having to say they need to pull harder. It's all about the information they need to give them and how, but most importantly, when to give it to them that I love to help my uh, campers and my Coxon students. And you've been announcing a lot today. Could you tell me a little bit about how you practiced or things that you've been able to say that you wanted to hear maybe as a Coxon? Yes, yeah, so I've been volunteering the last two years with the Crew Classic announcing. So all morning I was announcing and it was a little tough. There was two headsets, there was three of us. We had binoculars basically and we were at the finish line. So we may have gotten a couple spacings and leaders a little off, but more importantly I just want to give the crowd the, uh, the idea of the tactics, what crews are thinking, and maybe just give a little insider info that what they're seeing, there might be a better story and a backstory to it. So I like to give that to the crowd. And uh, what's one thing you miss like about about being a coxswain and being on the water every day? The number one thing I miss about being on the U.S. team is just practicing with my teammates. My uh, my teammates, I miss the girls. Um, I miss the the daily you know jokes in the locker room. But the good news is that we can always have reunions. They're always be in my life, and I love being their number one fan. Thanks, Mary.